Here are three AI meta ad systems that we've sold to marketing agencies, e-com and SaaS businesses. Meta ad management and optimization tend to be very time consuming processes. So these can be great use cases to sell if you're an AI agency or to implement if you're a business running meta ads. And in this video, I'll walk you through the solutions. And if you want all of these templates and many more, you can check out my AI accelerator where we help you learn AI automation, get one-on-one -on -one unlimited tech support and help you build your own AI business. And if you are a company looking to work with my AI agency, you can also book a free call with us in the description below. Now the first system is an automatic product ad generator. This is a great system because many companies run hundreds of ads. Some agencies run ads for different companies on Meta. Uh, it's one of the most common, commonly used acquisition channels for, for example, e-com businesses, but for many other businesses. And although many of these ads are a similar in nature, most of it is still done uh, manually and pretty time consuming. So uh, this system saves companies a lot of time that do meta ads. Now we've built this system using a combination of Airtable here and NADN. Of course, I've shown this one in a previous uh, video too. So the way this works here in the workboards, we can basically just add a new product. So we can just attach uh, an image of the product. In this case, it's uh, an ad already, but we can also upload, upload just a product image and we can add the product name and the product notes. And then from there, we can automatically generate the product details. It will basically do some research online on this specific product. We can also add this manually if we want or just change whatever the LNM uh, put out. Now, this is important because, of course, um, this is going to be used as context when we're gener generating ad variations and ads in general and also the ad copy, right? So we need some context on the product. Now, based on that, we can also add in a reference image. If we find a competitor ad or something like that, that we find interesting, we can add that as a reference and then our new ads will be generated according to that style uh, of the reference image. Now, in this case, we haven't added it and then we can add in the amount of ads we want to generate, in this case, five, and then we can generate the ad prompt automatically. So it's going to generate now five variations of different ad formats. Uh, again, we keep the human in the loop here. So if you want to change the, the aspect ratio, for example, or the angle of the ad a bit here, you can do that simply here. But if you think this is good, you can generate the ads and then all the five different ads will be generated here. So you can see here uses the same, same uh, product image in different formats. Of course, again, you have some, some uh, way to guide this a bit more through the system, right? And then all the ads you've generated will be presented here in the ad gallery. And from the ad gallery, you can also generate ad copy if I click in here. And in this case, it's already done. But if I click here, the ad copy will also be automatically generated. So that's the system. How does it work in the back end? Pretty simple. We have the webhook here, which gets triggered to, through Airtable because, of course, this is just the front end. On the back end, we have a database. Right. It can also be managed from here, but I prefer to do it through the um, through the interface right and this first one gets triggered as soon as we do the first product research so this first workflow here basically all it does is it uses a perplexity search to do some more research on the product but again you can do this yourself too or adjust anything it outputs then the second flow will create the prompt right which i showed you before now in this case this second workflow will get triggered when there's no reference image uploaded so in this case it will just take and download the image to get some context that will get fed into the LNM here will generate uh, the prompt for the five uh, ad variations in this case and I'll put that back into the air table then this third workflow takes those prompts if we've adjusted it it will take the adjusted prompts and then um, generate the actual images based of course again on the original product image uh, in this case we use nano banana pro through replicate right if you don't know replicate it basically hosts many image and uh, video models. So it's an easy way to use this. Uh, again, you can connect this by just uh, connecting your API key. So in this case, it loops over five different ads. You can also do way more, of course, if you want, but it loops over them and outputs them into the Airtable and then updates, updates the status to complete, right? So that's it for the second and the third. And then the fourth and the fifth are very similar workflows as these two, but these will get triggered when there's a reference image uploaded. So in this case, you can see that we have two times this because it downloads the product image, the original product image and uploads it and the same uh, for the reference image. And we pass that context into uh, an LLM here, which will take that data and generate ad prompts and variations uh, based on both the reference image and the original product image, and then outputs it into the R table. And then of course the next flow will actually generate um, the ads again, right? Based on the reference image and the original product image. 
And then lastly, uh, this last workflow gets triggered as soon as you want to generate the ad copy. And again, it takes the original product as some context and of course the product uh, research data. And based on that, it will write an, the ad copy for the ad. So pretty straightforward system. I think if you're going to clone this template, you just have to import the JSON, clone the Airtable interface and database. Then you'll need to connect your specific Airtable account to all the Airtable nodes. You'll have to connect the webhook here URL because you'll get a unique one to your Airtable database, which you do here in the automations section. Here we have the third one, which is run a script. And here you'll see webhook. This you will have to change to your specific webhook for each of these. Then um, you, of course, have to add in your uh, perplexity API key here, the specific API key for the language models uh, you use uh, in all the LNM steps and your replicate API key too. Uh, it's not going to cost you more than a few cents per generation. So don't worry about the cost too much. And um, that's it. Now, the second one is a meta ad spying tool. This one scrapes all of a brand's competitor uh, image, video, and text ads automatically, analyzes them, and then writes a weekly report uh, on the strategy your competitors use. Now, many brands and agencies spend a lot of time analyzing competitor ads, and this system basically continuously checks on a weekly basis all the new ads competitors might have posted, which can speed up this research process and, of course, know what your competitors are doing in the market. And, of course, if there's an ad that stands out, it can also be used as a reference ad in the previous system I showed to generate some ads for yourself. Now, we use this system, not surprisingly, again, uh, using a combination of Airtable and N8N. Uh, so here, uh, a little bit of a simpler workflow, as you can see. The way it works is quite simple. Um, you can just add a competitor here, and then you have to add in the URL of the Facebook ad library of the competitor. Now, if you don't know where to find that, this is basically public information. Let's say we have Jim Shark. You can go to the About page on YouTube. You can go to See All, and all the way at the bottom, you go to Ad Library. And there we can see, I have an ad blocker, but... Yeah, there you can see basically the ads they're running. So this is the page we're scraping. So this is the page we need, the URL, to create a new competitor. Then we have all the competitors listed here, and then we can track all of the ads of our competitors here. So here are all the ads from Jim Shark. If I open it up, you get the insights on the ad copy, the headline description, the image. In this case, it's not a video, and some improvement suggestions. And then here, lastly, we have the weekly reports where we get insights on the strategy our competitors run. Right. So. That's it, quite straightforward. Uh, you can either manually trigger it here or uh, on the schedule trigger, like I showed you on the weekly report. Um, then we get all the competitor uh, Facebook ad library links, URLs. We loop over each of them and use an Appify scraper to specifically scrape those uh, Facebook ad libraries. So we do that, we format the data, we update the status. If it has ads, we add it into another uh, sub workflow here because we have to loop over each of the um, product items uh, one by one. So here we uh, go over each of the ads, check if it exists. And if it is a new ad, we um, download if it's a video, the video, or uh, if it's an image, the image. Um, and then we pass that in to uh, an LLM to do some analysis, of course, and to maybe give, give us some suggestions on how we can improve this type of ad for ourselves, right? And we output that, we format that again, and we output all of the data back into Airtable. And then this last flow here generates, gets all of the um, ads from one competitor, analyzes them, gets passed into this LNM, analyzes them and generates a report on a weekly basis on the strategy your competitors use uh, in, inside of ads. Again, formats it and sends it into Airtable. So quite straightforward workflow. If you're gonna uh, clone this, you can uh, simply uh, import the JSON again. Of course, again, you have to connect your Airtable account uh, you have to connect your a Appify API key here, right? This one's already set up for you, but you just have to connect your API key. Uh, the rest is mostly done for you. Um, and of course, you have to add in your specific LNM API keys. And that's basically it. That's how you can set it up. And of course, there's a database behind the Airtable interface. Again, if you need some more help adjusting these templates or setting them up for yourself. We do have the one-on-one -on -one, uh, tech help available with my AI engineers inside of uh, my, my accelerator. Now, the next one is an automatic meta ad campaign reporting system. Now, I've shown this one in a previous video, but I wanted to include it in this one because it's especially useful for uh, meta ad agencies because they spend a lot of time on campaign reporting to their clients and for themselves. So we built this system using a combination of N8N, Google Sheets and Google Slides. And basically what the system does is it analyzes 
um, the performance of the campaigns over the last months completely automatically. And it creates these graphs, visuals, and conclusions automatically in the slides. It compares different campaigns you're running, uh, the platforms, the placements, and the demographics. And again, this is just a really useful system for really any type of business that runs meta ads because they tend to spend a lot of time on uh, reporting and ad optimization. Now, this one is a bit more complicated, as you can see, has a lot of code nodes, etc. but most of the hard work is already done. If you're gonna duplicate the template, uh, you, you don't have to change that much. The, the hard work is really mostly done for you. So really what you have to do is connect the Facebook Graph API uh, to get the data from your meta ads or your client meta ads. Uh, you also have to connect your Google Slide API and Google Sheets API, and then uh, it should work for you. Of course, you can adjust the template here uh, to your specific branding, etc. Um, but if you connect those APIs to these nodes here, it should directly work for you. Now, if you want to know uh, how to set up these APIs, because the Google Slides and Google uh, Sheets API can be a little bit more tricky to set up because you have to set up Google Zero Auth. I'll make sure to put a link also uh, with the resources um, on how to set up the Google Zero Auth. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind that templates are great, but generally need to be customized a bit to each specific use case or client or for yourself. So if you need some more help in customization and learning AI automation and learning how to build systems like this yourself, you can uh, check out my AI Accelerator where we give you the tech support uh, you need. And also we try to help you build your own AI business. So if that's interesting, you can check out uh, my accelerator. Also, if you wanna see a fourth meta ad system, I've done a previous video on another system we did, which uh, automatically generates ad scripts for uh, people running video ads on uh, meta ads. So if that's interesting to you, you can check out the video here above. Thank you so much.